friend of mine lent me his bass. And uh, I remember I, I knew so little about it at the time that I tried to tune it and broke two strings in a row because I just plucked it and started turning the key so far that it just, it just, I kept getting higher and higher and higher and then it snapped the, the string and I didn't understand why that happened and put another string on and then did the exact same thing again. And I used that for a little bit, um, just playing in the neighborhood with friends, learning like bits of Rush songs and Yes and things like that. And then my parents for Christmas bought me this guy. And it was when I was 17. And, um, and this is the bass that my parents bought me and it's the bass that went, to, this is the battle tested, all the years of Jane's Addiction 1.0 um, was this bass. It's really like just all sorts of bits and pieces. There's this teeny little Joy Division sticker here, Butthole Surfers, it's Bugs Bunny. I'm not sure where that came from. This I got from the Hollywood Bowl in a, in a drunken blackout. Pill, public image. These guys I bought in like a little, uh, you know, tchotchke store or whatever, but they wound up serving a great purpose, which was they, the knobs on a P base have no numbers and no indication of where the knobs are. And so with these guys on the knobs, I could tell, like, if I was playing so if something sounded a little bit weird, I could look down and see, oh, my tone knob got bumped or moved or something because he's no longer looking at me. And what I love, too, about this is the fact that this is just me. You know, this is just my forearm from going like that, you know, because this was brand spanking new when I got it. Um, and I'm the only one that's been playing it. My style of bass playing and this bass are perfectly related because I always wanted to uh, simplify and to play very um, cyclical, basic things. And that's such a, a P thing, you know, it's like because it's so foundational and so simple um, and such a s sort of simple and direct sound. When we started first getting some success, you know, we started getting approached by companies for the first time and given you know, free stuff and everything. And, and I sort of tried, you know, I tried other companies stuff and it just never felt right because I'd so grown up on this thing, you know. So, and, uh, and this one in particular as well. So I was really attached to it as I am s still obviously. All these years later, I carry it everywhere I go.